This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne Wright at DwayneWright.com, and in this video we're going to chat about conditional value lists. Uh, this video was prompted by an email that a user sent me. And, you know, there's the, the things where they tell me they like about the blog, and I love it when you do that, so by all means, folks, send that in. It does help make my day. But uh, we go down here a little bit, and it says, I am looking forward for how to create a dynamic selection field in FM FileMaker. Example, user is allowed to select a gender, male or female. Based on the gender selection, a title field will display either Mr., Sir, male, and that type of thing. And that started to, it took me a while, I was like, I know I created an example file for this and I couldn't find it. And uh, boy, I it really had to search way back in my archives. And I'd done an example on this way back in 2003. So this was uh, pre-FileMaker 7 even, but it's been converted over. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And this is just a straight two-layer condition value list. And the way that the example was set up is that you would choose a team, a position, and then you'd get a filtered list of players. So in this case, if we chose uh, the Bears, and if we chose Offense, we would see two players that are no longer with the Bears, obviously, but you would see you know, Anthony Thomas or Rex Grossman from back in 2003. We clear those out. We say Bears and defense, and then we have Brian Urlacher. We clear them out again. We choose the Bucks, defense, Warren Sapp, clear the field, Bucks, offense, and, you know, Tim Johnson. And then, of course, we got some notes down here about how it's done with plenty of typos, it looks like. <laughs> Evidently, I didn't know how to use the spell checker back in 2003. And some people would argue that I still barely have mastered the art. Uh, so let's take a look underneath the hood. Now, this is an, an uh, older solution, so it will have multiple files, and that's not a big deal. It's just, you know, they're listed here as file resources, so one file links to the other. In your FileMaker solution, you probably just have multiple tables in the same file. And in this case, when you want to set those up, you want to do a uh, relationship between those. So in this case, we have a, a very simple one. And we are in this table. So let's move this on over. We're in the conditional value list table, and you can see that we have a link from team to team and from specialty to position, you know, in this database. So that's how we're going to do our filters. We actually have one table that we do our data entry, and then we have another table that shows, you know, the different combinations. Let's see if we can actually bring that up. Now yeah, there's our data. And there it is. So you can see here that these are our different options. We have a separate table that has the different options. So in your case, you probably would have a separate table that would have a selection for male and then one record for Mr., another record for male, another one for Sir, another record that would have female, Mrs., female, Ms., Phil, Madam, you know, based on your thing. So you would have this separate table that would have those combinations. And then here we actually create a, uh, a relationship that links those two. So that, you can actually play with that with using portals and everything else. And that's a good way to experiment with. Just set up portals to do these. Now, the secret sauce when it comes down to the value list. So... Here's our team, our position, and our player. So our team value list is just, you know, ruthlessly simple. It's just choosing all the data that's entered into that field team. So there's no relationship there. Now, down to the position, this is where it starts to get interesting. We are using values from a field, just like we did before. But when we click on Specify Field, 
Now we're going down and we say, okay, this is our base table, and then we're only using the related values from, and that's the first relationship that we set up. So the relationship is filtering, just like the portal would filter as it goes across. And then, you know, you might even be with me. Down here, we have the, the specialty, and it's using, again, another relationship. Only the related values from, okay? So we're, we're just showing the related values, just like they would in a portal. And, you know, I'll go ahead and post this example up to my... Um, Examples blog so that you can pull it across then I'll spell check the uh, the description and put that up there as well and Again, I think if you experiment with using portals or if you have the portal set up going Then it'll make it easier for you if you go back and do the value list and then just take the portals off the layout Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.